Homebrew Brewery. Hello Brewtubers and thanks for tuning in again on Homebrew Brewery's channel. This video is going to be about my bottling gun, beer bottling gun, that I purchased right out of AliExpress.com. I paid about 24 euros for it. Now making this video 29 euros. It's the price 29 euros. I purchased it with a huge discount. I will put a link in the more info section to this uh, item. As you can see, I attached some hoses. I've sanitized the spigot of the my SS Brutech brew bucket. I attached a silicon hose to it. It's all been sanitized, as you can see now in this footage. I've sanitized the line and the beer, beer bottling gun. It's a sonic clean solution. So this line will be the beer line. This hose is the CO2. There's some CO2 connected to it. 0.1 bar of pressure. Maybe you can hear it. So very low pressure. And the same pressure is applied on the top of the fermenter. So it's completely oxygen free bottling today. Everything is sanitized. I guess just we need some bottles and in this footage you can see I'm sanitizing 12 bottles and out of camera I did a couple of more. So I've sanitized the bottles and the bottle caps. I'm using the black ones today and I have my priming sugar ready and my uh, bottling device. Well. I have to add priming sugar. There are several ways to do it. Fill the priming sugar directly into the bottle, then fill it with uh, the beer gun and cap it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. First I'm going to test this in the bottle, put priming sugar in it and top it off with some CO2 and then put a cap on it. That's what I'm going to do now. Well, let's grab a uh, bottle. I have here a sanitized bottle, just at room temperature for the best results uh, without a lot of foam. It's better to cool them off in the freezer or in the refrigerator, I have to say, with um, some uh, aluminium foil on it when it's already sanitized. So colder bottles doesn't have as much foam in it as the room temperature bottles. But let's take it out. I'm going to do a close-up once again. I'm going to let it. I've set the bottling gun aside, or I've uh, sprayed them with a sanitizer again, so I'm sure it's uh, completely sanitized. Later in this video, I'll give you a close-up. What I'm going to do: put the bottle filler in, and first I'm going to purge some CO2 in it, so the oxygen will escape. This is enough. Let's open. the valve on the fermenter and let's open the beer line. You can see the beer flow. Oh, this, uh, I see this uh, hose is way too uh, thin. Let's try again. The bottle is filling. I need the other hose I can see but you can see the color of the beer. It's a beautiful color. And I will grab myself a container for uh, putting the bottling gun in after filling. There's a small problem with this hose that I'm using. Well, this is the headspace that I'm going to use. I'm not sure if you can see it. Now I'm going to add the prime sugar and later when adding the cap on it I purge some more with the CO2 in it. For now it uh, works flawless. But I need a other hose. Well, bottle cap, priming sugar. So 
some CO2 in it. And here it is, the first bottle with this uh, AliExpress bottle filler. Completely without oxygen. You can see it still creates some foam, the sugar is laying on top of it. I guess I'm going to dial the pressure a little bit down. That will be fine. Let's um, fill the top of the bottle with some CO2. I apologize for the shaky camera for this this time. I'm in a hurry tonight. Bit of gas, care on it. Ready. I switched off the camera light and I realized the level of the beer is much better to see without a light. So here we go again. Adding CO2 with this knob. Can you see my finger? Without oxygen now. Going to fill it with the beer. Next bottle. First the gas, a couple of seconds. Releasing it. Can you see this handle for the beer? For the sake of this video I'm going to release it. And pull it again. Well, I will switch on the light again. CO2 in it. Then the beer. At the end of this video I will explain what kind of beer I am uh, bottling. It's the Nutcracker Ale, but for the details I will uh, tell you at the end of the video. It's a nice colored beer, I will uh, give you a close-up of the beer line. Beautiful color. Well, now it's time to put some priming sugar in. I told you earlier there are many ways to do it. Um, maybe in the next couple of bottles I will put in the sugar in first. Yeah, let's give it a test. First four bottles I'm going to put the priming sugar in first and then I'm going to fill it with beer and top it off with some CO2. Some CO2 and then a cap on it. That's going to be the next four. Well, I switch the camera light on. So you can see the bottling gun better. And here we go again. I prefer this uh, method. First the priming sugar. Then the beer. Top it off with some CO2. And then a cap on it. That's something that I like to do. Well, CO2 in it. CO2, top it off with CO2. Alright, caps on it. fast this way. Yeah, I prefer this method. First 
the priming sugar, fill it with all the CO2 cap on it and uh, ready. Alright, I have some cleaning up to do and I poured myself a really nice homebrew. Guys, check this out. It's a hazy, hazy beer. Extremely hazy, nice head on it. I will put the recipe of this beer in the more info section. It's a cloudy fruits ale. Dry hop this baby with uh, galaxy hops and citra. It's a very nice fruity aroma and I use verdant yeast of Ferdinand. Aroma on this one is phenomenal. This recipe in the more info section and I'm going to talk about first the need it. Cheers! In this video I bottled the Nutcracker Ale out of the big book of clone recipes of uh, the brew your own. Page number also in the more info section. So if you would like to have the recipe of this Nutcracker too, please ask me in the uh, questions. Give me a question and in the comments down below. And here I have the ice spindle graph. So you can see the fermentation went very nice. Stable temperature. Final gravity is 1.011 and the start gravity, the original gravity was 1.061. So the ABV on this one will be about 6.6%. Check out the more info section for the Nutcracker Ale recipe and the uh, Cloudy Fruit Ale. This was a hectic video. I didn't plan to make this video. You saw on the camera work and the setup and everything that I didn't thought about uh, this bottling day. I initiated, wanted to try the bottle fit on myself without a camera with you guys, but I promised someone that comments on my uh, previous video on my channel that I'm going to make a video about it. Hang on, I'm going to make a change in the brewery gas wise and I'm going to replace this kegerator for, a, no, I have to say, I guess the beer is already working. I'm going to remove this keyser and I purchased myself a nice kegerator. To make a ga gas board I have uh, ideas and thoughts how I'm going to make it but plugging in a beer gun like this or adding a CO2 line on top of the fermenter so a transfer kit, CO2 transfer kit it's going to be much easier in the future. I will think you guys will love it what I'm going to uh, produce here. So many changes in the brewery and of course I'm going to brew and make more videos about it. Cheers! Thank you for watching this uh, long video and um, speak to you all soon. Bye bye! Nice lazy. And extremely hazy. I used 1.4 kilograms of flaked oats, I guess, on a batch. Really hazy. Love this one. Cheers.